quench. Please feel free to lift up your voice. Let us pray. If you still haven't been baptized, you're not able to speak in tongues, ask the Holy Spirit in your secret place. He's mm -hmm. going to give you that baptism. No man can do that. Only the Holy yeah. Spirit is able to do that. So if you have that desire in your heart, ask for it. He's going to Amen. give it to you. Amen. 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 It's Father's Day. Somebody say yay. 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 It's Father's yay. Day. You know? <laughs> when I was preparing, I was thinking to myself, I know how women are, you know. I'm a woman. I know how yeah, that. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So Amen. Uh, in the way I understand women, women want to claim each day. They want to claim this day as well. So fathers are supposed to be celebrated, but women want to be in the picture. You can go to Facebook, you can go to Instagram. Instead of just posting the father, they're also in the picture. Happy Father's Day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, men are not like us, right? Men are not yeah. like us. Yeah. Men are special beings and we desire yeah. to be celebrated on every occasion. Our birthday is ours. Eh? Mm. Yeah. Women's Day is ours. Yes. Mm. Mother's Day is ours. Valentine's yeah. Day is ours. Wedding anniversary is ours. <laughs> Christmas Day is ours. Yeah. We demand a present. We demand recognition on all these days. We want to be pampered, you know, on the days. Yeah. Very soon we're going to be asking for Independence Day to also be ours. <laughs> right? so, but I was saying to myself, poor men, the poor <laughs> men only know three celebrations. <laughs> they can agree with me. They only know three yeah. celebrations. One, their birthday. Okay? Their yeah. birthday is celebrated. We have no choice. So we celebrate the birthday. The second one is Father's Day if they have children. Who can guess the last one? The last one is the most important one they are celebrated for payday. You know? Mm. So, <laughs> <laughs> so payday is their day. It's even better. It's more celebrated than their birthday. Oh, and no. next, Celebrate. Lord have mercy. Oh, <laughs> Lord have mercy on the women. <laughs> but let's celebrate fathers on this day. Let's celebrate them mm. today. Fathers, if we have any fathers here today, I haven't checked the platform. My husband is here. I'm not sure if anybody has logged in with their husband today. But fathers, we love you and we celebrate you today. Amen. 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 You know, a wife. A wife may say, amen. you know, my husband, amen, there's my husband that is here. So sometimes a wife may say, or a woman may say, you know, a husband is not my father, you know. He's not my father, he's my husband. I've got my own mm. father, or I had my own father. But I got a revelation a while ago, okay? This revelation, I was thinking to myself, before you get married as a woman, right? Uh, there's somebody who's taking care of you. You ha mm. either have a father in your home, you have uh, an uncle, you have an aunt, uh, an uncle, a brother, a grandfather, or just any other guardian that is taking care of you. So these mm -hmm. people, you know, are, they are there to protect you. They are there to provide for you, right? They mm -hmm. shield you, they lead you, they guide you. So... Hmm. I was looking at my own lifestyle. I didn't grow up with a with a father, but there was my grandfather there. That was my mother's uh, my mother's father. He was such a wonderful man. Sometimes when I when I look at my own lifestyle and see how busy it can be, he had time for us as grandchildren. So he did all nice things for us. But then there was also my elder brother. Okay, the firstborn. He became a father to us. At least for me, I can speak for myself. I know he took care of my siblings as well at a young age, okay? But he was there. He did so many things for us. So I salute mm. my brother. I'm not sure if he has logged in with his wife this morning, but I know sometimes he's listening. But um, that was my that was a father figure for me. So there was the protection, you know, all the nonsense and everything else. He threatened people all around me. And <laughs> and he to do. That's so he could protect we knew him for what he always said to any people that looked at us, his sisters, I'll break your neck. So we know <laughs> that he was really, really <laughs> watching over us, you know, because he felt he owed us so much as a brother. He felt he needed, he did so much. I could tell a host, you know, a story about what he did, but that's a story for another day. But I truly salute my brother. So if you didn't have any of them, there was just 
one person, there was just somebody that took care of you. Okay, I'm not sure where you grew up, but there was somebody that stood in that gap with the father. So it could have been just your mother, a grandmother, but they protected you. They, you know, they provided for you and they shielded you. That is why sometimes when we come to celebrate Mother's Day or Father's Day, we need to look at it holistically. So we're not just looking at a biological parent, but we're looking at all these people that are around us, all these people that have been there for us, right? So here's the revelation before I lose. Here's the revelation. So then when you decided to get married, so this is I, you decided mm -hmm. to get married and um, on the wedding day, you were going to be handed over. I don't know if somebody did the shotgun approach, they just took themselves to that house and boom, they became a wife. But mm -hmm. the normal procedure is that you are handed over, okay? Mm -hmm. So somebody who is the father figure or your mother, whoever it is that has been your guardian, hands you over. So yeah. it doesn't matter whether you had a wedding where you walked down the aisle in a wedding dress and, you know, in church, the priest said, who is handing over this child to this man? You know, it could have been a traditional wedding. You know, a traditional wedding is also a wedding. I meet a lot of people mm. who say, I ask them, are you married? They'll say, no, just traditional. A traditional wedding is also marriage. It's mm. because we are being fooled by a white dress and we call that yeah. just a wedding. Even if you mm. wear a chitendo, we call it a chitendo, you wear a dress like I'm wearing, it is still a wedding. You are married, mm. okay? Mm. So then, in my language, we call that a traditional wedding. In my language, we call it chombilanganda, right? Mm. So if you went yeah. through that, uh, you was, that was a way of handing you over to, yeah. to your husband. So it's like in a relay, right? I'm still talking mm. about the revelation I had about, you know, what a father is in relation to a husband. So then it's like a relay, you know, a race. Mm. somebody starts the race they blow the whistle somebody starts the race and this person runs with a button and you know goes to give to the next person you know and then when they get mm. there they have done their part they have run whether it's 100 meters they have done that so if you were married then we are looking at uh, maybe you got married early like me i got married at 20 and a half years okay so i was just before 21 so then at that age my brother handed me over to my husband so what my brother was basically saying to my husband is that I have done my part, okay? I have mm. come with my sister this far, and that was my brother that handed me over. I have come with my sister this far. I am giving you this button. I have been my sister's protector. Mm. I have been my sister's provider. I have mm. been my sister's leader. I have mm -hmm. guided her. I have shielded her. So mm -hmm. I am handing her over to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have stood here as a father figure to her, but I'm giving you everything so you can take care of her like a father does. And they, yeah. he gives away. And my husband takes over. It means my husband is taking over where my mm -hmm. brother lives. And my husband mm -hmm. becomes a father. Mm -hmm. Do we see that? So yeah. that is the rebellion. That is what is happening on a wedding day. When you are handing over your child, when you are being handed over, that is basically what this parent is saying. Yeah. He, I have done my part. Now this is your part. So women, mm -hmm. from today, mm -hmm. that sentence of he's not my father. <laughs> from today, you know you are part of this celebration, right? Because mm -hmm. you were handed over. Your mm -hmm. father handed you over and he became your father on that day. So let's Amen. appreciate them today. Let's join mm -hmm. the children in appreciating them, in pampering them. Amen. So don't Amen. separate yourself anymore and say, mm. he's not my father, unless you don't understand the revelation that I've just given. You were mm. handed over. Amen. So Amen. then, happy Father's Day to every father who is on the mm. platform, and happy Father's Day to every father that is going to listen to this, um, to mm. this teaching. To my wonderful husband, since he's here, thank you so mm. much for Amen. taking over from my elder brother. Thank you so much for being that Amen. great father to our children. Amen. We continuously Amen. pray for you and we Amen. bless thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. So I am sharing this morning on a message I have entitled, The Name Above Every Name. Amen. 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 So I'm not teaching, I'm not teaching about Father's Day, but I'm teaching about the name above every name that's what we are looking at this morning i have a name mm. okay mm -hmm. i was thinking to myself as i prepared <laughs> of course i have a name i'm called by name that is why you know me i actually have two names in my language we still say you know <laughs> you know that means that you, you, the middle name the middle name is called in my language meaning 
it is it is your middle name and i don't know why they have to call it that maybe because you know it's called after a navel a belly button so maybe because the belly button or the navel is the middle of your body it is the center of your body mm. okay so you have this name which is so fancy francine then you have your middle name the yeah. belly button name yeah from toto like i say <laughs> so, uh, hey, only africans right. understand this part only understand mm. understand well, africans understand this part at school mm. you are known as francine at home mm. you are called by another name mm. so mm. when people call mm. me by that name yeah from toto i know they know me because it means i used to be doing them in the dust <laughs> if you if you only know me by my first name then i know you now in my adult mm. so then mm. <laughs> so then when i was born i was given my african name by my father right he, he mm-hmm. I, i hear he named me after his grandmother and then um because of the church that my mother belonged to my mother is catholic the church she belongs to the family is catholic so when your child is born at a certain point when they're still young they take you for baptism so at that point they give you another name which they call christian name So I was saying to myself, so does it mean my African name is not Christian? I mean, the confusion that came with Christianity in Africa. So then they just had to nullify. I love the way <laughs> our children are named. They, you know, even if you are named, you've got an African name. It is still a Christian name. Any name is perfect for your child. You don't have to mm-hmm. give them a thousand names. So my passport, my ID has got a thousand names because there's a Christian name. Yeah, mom, Toto, father's name, husband's name, all the other things. So you have all these all these other yeah so so my aunt named me francine uh, my mother told me my aunt who's a young sister named me francine and I, i think she used to love reading novels so this name you only pick it up in in certain in certain places but it's a french name and i've come to to learn that it means free or the free one so perhaps it explains why i am free okay i'm a free person i love to you know to to be free all around myself So then we mm-hmm. had our own children. My husband and I have three children. And um, according to culture, nowadays people are free to do what they want. But in those days, okay, you would give the honor to the, to the grandmother or the grandfather to mm-hmm. name your child. So then my grandmother, my, my, sorry, my, my mother-in-law, who, who was, she's now late. She was my, my father, my, now my father, right? My husband's mm-hmm. mother was given the mm-hmm. honor to name our first child. So she named our first child a beautiful name, okay? Mm-hmm. And then the second uh, daughter we have, my husband named our second Ma? daughter. And then our third daughter, I named our third daughter. Right. So if you ask my husband why he named our second daughter, oh. the name he has given, he'll probably tell you, but I know exactly why I named my, oh. you know, our youngest child, Natasha, okay? And to complete it, I said, Natasha Mwelesa, when I was actually mm-hmm. giving her that name, mm-hmm. meaning, Lord, mm. I am grateful. Okay, Lord, mm. I am thankful. So that is mm. what. So you have a name, right? Mm. Mm. You have a name. Someone gave you that name. It could have been your mother, it could have been your father, it could have been anybody. Unless mm. you're one of those people that was given a name that you didn't like. Okay, so you know some parents also gave such horrible names that children were ashamed, they were mocked, and they mm. ended up changing the name. So maybe you've yeah. changed that name, you didn't like it. Mm. But most mm. names have a meaning, right? There's a reason why people have named you that name there's a reason why mm-hmm. parents give their children certain kinds of names He's so in most cases look. it may be in most cases it may be yeah, that you were named depending on what uh, was happening in your parents lifestyle okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or maybe what surrounded your birth So yeah. maybe there was a death in the family. Maybe mm. there was your father won the lotto, then your name became lotto. You know? So it just depended on what was happening. That is how they did it. So like today, I'm sure we already have Corona. We already have COVID. We already have test kit and all those kinds of things. So I have noticed they are going too late. So maybe they were born because one of the parents, you know, they didn't see their parents. And so all those kind of names. So... Mm. When some parents thought they had stopped now now this is something i know when some parents thought they had stopped having children they named a child tafika okay tafika <laughs> meaning we have arrived so um they thought now we are <laughs>
God. You are so sure that you are so sure. Lord, we are done. We have 10. And then, lo and behold, you just get a surprise. You have another child. Ah, now we are so embarrassed. You just say, it, I am so. Like we have started all over again. So, it was a vision. Why? People have Let's look at Jabez, okay? Yeah. Jabez yeah. in First Chronicles, chapter 4, yes. and verse 10. <laughs> we are told that Jabez was named by his mother, and the mother mm. had given birth to him in pain. Yeah. So I was thinking to yeah. myself, you know, if the mother had given birth to him in pain, it means we should all be called Jabez, right? Because every woman goes through labor. So every child is dead, Jabez, okay? So mm -hmm. this is what happened. So... When we look around us, everything that we see has a name. We may not know what something is called, but it has a name. So mm. take animals, for instance. We call them, uh, we, we just say animals, but they all have names. When, when Adam was naming each one of them, right? He called them elephant, tiger, you know, uh, lion, uh, zebra. I don't even know why. I was thinking to myself again. Back home in the locations, people would call a dog lion. <laughs> or they would call a dog spider. How? Oh, it's a dog. Now it's become spider. So some of those things you wonder. And I was thinking, what about trees? Okay. What about trees? We have a lot of trees, but each tree has a name. We have mm. apple trees, you know, we have orange trees. And then I remembered, you know, we can't forget that tree which Zacchaeus climbed, the sycamore tree. <laughs> Okay, mm. and I was also mm. thinking that why did they, why did the author of that book even talk about the name of the tree? Yeah. There's a reason, yeah. right? Yeah. There's a reason yeah. why all these things are there. So let's talk mm. about diseases. Every mm. disease has a name. Yeah. So you can name it. There's cancer, there's mm. arthritis, there's diabetes, mm. there's high blood pressure, there's mm. everything is being identified by name. Mm. So mm. Psalm 147 is telling mm. us that the Lord determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. By Even name, the yes. stars have mm. names because God mm. is able to summon them. Hey, Ariel, mm. get here. Hey, you mm. twinkle there. You know, Shadrach. Mm. He, so I don't know what kind of names he has. Orion, mm. Zodiac, mm. and the like. So he gives them the different kinds of names. He calls mm. them. So there are so many, but then he has a name for each one of them. So Everything that we see right here has a name. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes. But then there is a name that is above every name that you and I know. There is a mm -hmm. name that is above cancer. There is a name that is above a president's name. Mandela, you know, my president mm. back home, yeah. uh, you know, our president right here. There's a name that is above, uh, you know, the American president. There's a name that is above everything else that we know. And that is what mm. we are interested in. So let's open our Bibles to the book of Philippians chapter 2. I'll read from verse 5 to 11, and I'm using the ERV version. All right. So it says, in your life together, think the way Christ thought. I picked this version in particular because I felt it was just so straightforward and we could easily understand what is happening here. He was like God in every way. We're talking about Jesus Christ here. But he did not think that his being equal with God was something to use for his own benefit. Instead, he gave up everything, even his place with God. He accepted the role of a servant appearing in human form during his life as a man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so during his life as a man, he humbled himself by being fully obedient to God, even when that caused his death, death mm -hmm. on the cross. So God raised him up to the most important place and gave him the name that is greater than any other name. All right. In other versions, in particular, the New King James, you can read that. He says he was given a name that is higher than any other name. Mm -hmm. God did this so that every person will bow down to honor the name of Jesus. Everyone in heaven, on earth, and under the earth will bow. They will all confess Jesus Christ is Lord. And this will bring glory to God the Father. So the TPT version, like I always encourage us, let us look at the different mm. versions so that we can understand. Because sometimes you may want to just use the King James version and 
you know, the English there sometimes will just confuse us. So look at the different versions for more understanding. So the TPT version just then says, the authority of the name of Jesus causes every need to bow in reverence. Mm -hmm. Everything and everyone will one day submit to this name. In mm -hmm. the heavenly realm, in the earthly realm, and in the demonic <clears throat> realm. So it is in all the realms. So the demonic mm -hmm. realm is there, okay? That kingdom mm -hmm. is also alive. So don't fool yourselves and say, I just the heavenly place and just the earth. It talks about, you know, under the earth, the demonic realm exists, okay? So it mm -hmm. means that everything, like diseases, like animals, like plants, stars should bow, you know, at Amen. the name of Jesus. This is what we are told in Philippians. Everyone, mm -hmm. meaning you and I, everyone, meaning every ruler, every president, whoever it is, must bow. Everyone means everyone and not some. So in the heavenly realm, okay, the angels must bow, okay? Mm -hmm. In the mm -hmm. earthly realm, we must bow. In the mm. demonic realm, those rulers mm. and powers of darkness, all those things must bow. Basically, that is what is happening here. So Jesus has authority over everything and over everyone. Okay. Let us go to Hebrews chapter 1. I'm using ERV. I'll read from this one. Okay. In the past, God spoke to our people through the prophets. He spoke to them many times and in many different ways. And now in these last days, God has spoken to us again through his son. He made the whole world through his son. And he has chosen his son to have all things. The son mm. shows the glory of God. He is a perfect copy of God's nature. And he holds mm. everything together by his powerful command. The mm. son made people clean. You know, the son made people clean from their sins. You and I, you know, because of his death, that is what we are talking about here. He made us clean from our sins. Then he sat down at the right side of God. You know, that is why he is interceding for us. If you read on in the same book of Hebrews, you are going to learn that, you know, there was this covenant which existed in the time of Moses, the old covenant, which has become obsolete. But then we have a new covenant with Jesus. Mm -hmm. He sits on the throne as our mm -hmm. high priest. He is the one that is interceding for us. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we are Amen. told that when he ascended to heaven, he entered heaven as our, as our high priest, right? Mm -hmm. So that is mm -hmm. what we are talking about this morning. Mm -hmm. So then he sat down at the right side of God, the great one in heaven. The son became much greater than the angels and God gave him a name that is much greater than any of their names. So it mm -hmm. doesn't matter a cherubim, mm -hmm. whatever you call it, mm -hmm. a seraphim, Every, mm -hmm. all those are below his name. Amen. 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 In verse 5, it goes on to say, God never says to any of the angels. That is why the worship of angels should not happen. Mm -hmm. Right. We should never mm -hmm. worship angels because God mm -hmm. never said to any of these angels, you are my son. Did anyone mm -hmm. read? Maybe I missed it. Somebody help mm -hmm. me. I never read mm -hmm. anywhere when he said, you are my son. Today I have become your father. God mm. also never said about an angel, I will be his father and he will be my son. Never. Mm. Okay. And, and then when God presents his firstborn son to the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him. So the mm. angels, that is why, you know, the activity mm. we are told in the platform mm. in Revelation chapter four is talking yeah. about the heavenly host, the 24 elders, you know, mm. the seraphims, the cherubims, the angels, mm. they bow mm. down at his feet and they worship him. Why? Because that Hallelujah. is what God did. He exalted him above every name, right? Amen. Amen. So God said, let all God's angels worship him. This is what mm. God said about the angels. Now he says to the angels, he changes his angels into winds and his mm. servants into flame, flame, you know, flaming fire. But this is what he said about his son. I really love this, you know, what he said about his son. Read, in, read it in um, New King James as well and to see that what he said. But this era is saying, God, now this is God. He is mm. saying to his son, Okay, mm -hmm. you see the mm -hmm. revelation here of the Trinity. Mm -hmm. You see the revelation here of God acknowledging Jesus as God. Mm -hmm. You see him as he, he's acknowledging him as his equal because he says to him, God, your kingdom will last forever mm -hmm. and ever. Okay, mm -hmm. he looks at mm -hmm. Jesus, he looks at his son, and he says, 
you use your authority for justice, but he is God himself. But he chose mm-hmm. Jesus, his kingdom will last forever. Your love, mm-hmm. you know, you mm-hmm. love what is right. You hate mm-hmm. what is wrong. You love mm-hmm. righteousness. This is mm-hmm. basically what he said. So God, he tells Jesus, so God, your God has chosen you. The NIV and NKJV says, you know, so God, your God has anointed you. So he is acknowledging him. We are equals. Mm-hmm. You know, this is the Trinity, mm-hmm. the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? So God, your God has chosen you, giving you more honor and joy than anyone like you. It says that anyone, you know, more than your companions. God mm-hmm. also says to him, oh Lord, in the beginning you made the earth. Hello, you know, mm-hmm. in, in Genesis, we see mm-hmm. in the beginning where God mm-hmm. created, it just says God created. But here mm-hmm. in Hebrews, it is revealed where God is saying to Jesus, oh Lord, in the beginning you made the earth. Hello, do we see the Trinity here? And your mm-hmm. hands made the sky. Mm-hmm. These things will disappear, but you will stay. They will wear mm-hmm. out like old clothes. You will fold mm-hmm. them up like a coat. Just imagine God just taking the sky and, you know, putting it together and throwing it there. And mm-hmm. always say, I like the part where he says, he's going to take the dead, he's going to take the grave, fold it mm-hmm. up and put it away. So basically, this is what mm-hmm. he's saying. You know, in the beginning, you did all these things. You will fold them up like a coat and they will be changed like clothes. But you will never change and your life never ends. Amen. So we see who Jesus is in this place. This is the reason why he is exalted above every name. He cannot be compared to any other Mm -hmm. name. And God never said this to an angel. (laughs) You sit here at my right hand until I put your enemies under your power. He never Mm -hmm. said any of that to them. But he said that to him, right? Amen. Amen. All the angels finally are spirits who serve God. Mm. All the angels, they are not equal to God. So we mm. can't have people telling us in churches that, you know what, the angel has come to do this. You know, the angel, we can't worship mm-hmm. angels. These mm-hmm. save God. They are saving at his throne. They are bowing. Mm-hmm. They are worshiping. So when they come, when if they ever appear to you, it means they are sent to help those who will receive salvation. They mm-hmm. are your help. Mm. Is that so? Mm. So God exalted Amen. the name of Jesus above every other name that mm. you may think of. So that is why we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, that is why yes. we pray in the name of Jesus. Any other name will not be recognized. Mm. You can pray. Mm. You can, I'm even reminded, mm. you know, that time when these guys were and they are bow gods, you know, the gods of bow, they were praying and praying. And is it Elijah? Is it Elijah? Who's telling mm-hmm. them, shout louder, mm-hmm. shout louder, mm-hmm. because they had mm-hmm. their own God to have Now, mm-hmm. maybe your God has taken a vacation. Maybe your God has gone to the toilet, all right? Mm-hmm. So it is because mm-hmm. they were calling upon another name. So we are mm-hmm. told, <laughs> calling upon, you know, the name of mm-hmm. angels, you know, just because now we have learned that, you know, when Daniel was praying, there was an angel that came, you know, uh, an angel appeared to Zechariah, an angel appeared to Joseph. Then you begin to get so excited and thinking, oh, okay, if this angel comes then you begin to worship angels, that is wrong. We should never call upon the name of angels mm-hmm. or any celestial beings because that would take us nowhere. Okay, those people, they've got their own place. They are not people, they are angels, the spiritual world. So they've got mm. their own place and they're able to minister to us. This is what we have just been told in Hebrews, right? Mm-hmm. They are there to minister to us. But let's look at John chapter 14. John chapter 14, you know, praying in the name of Jesus. 13 to 14, I'm using New King James Version. It says, and whatever you ask in my name, this is Jesus saying, mm-hmm. whatever you ask in my name, that I will mm-hmm. do. That Mm. the Father may be glorified in the Son. If Mm. you ask Mm. anything in my name, I will do it. So there was nothing Mm. like, you know, uh, my father, remember when I was born, I was born, Mary was my mother and my stepfather was Joseph. It's a known fact. My stepfather was Joseph. So you can pray through Mary, you can pray through. No, no, no. It just says it is in my name. (laughs) There was no way where it says there's no substitute here. Mm -hmm. It just said what you ask, you ask in my name. So mm-hmm. if you have mm-hmm. been introduced to a manner where you are praying through other names, let's mm-hmm. get back to the growing board. Let's get back to oh, the yeah. word of God. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. as Christians, we have one Bible. Okay. As Christians, mm-hmm. we have one Bible and this is our guide. So if you are praying in any other name other than the name of Jesus, mm-hmm. then you, you, your praying is, is, is misdirected. Right. Because when we are Amen. praying to the Father, we are told we pray through Jesus. So when you are praying mm-hmm. through other names, it means 
your prayer is mis misdirected. I don't even know who is answering you. At this point, mm -hmm. I have no answer for you. I don't know who's mm -hmm. answering you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you are using other names. And to who are you <coughs> praying? Those are the yeah. questions that you should ask yourself. Let's look at John 16. John 16 and from verse 23 to 24, New King James as well. This is Jesus again. And in that day, you will ask me nothing. Most mm -hmm. assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. So mm -hmm. until so maybe you have been praying, you have been praying, you're not using the name of Jesus, you're not praying in the name of Jesus. So he's still waiting. You didn't call my name, so I'm still waiting for your prayer. So mm -hmm. maybe you have been praying, you have been fasting, but because your, your prayer is misdirected, he's still saying you, you have no answer because you, your prayer is misdirected. I did not get your, your request. You didn't mm -hmm. call me, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So some of us still don't know how to pray. I can't come and give you a prayer and say, this is how you must pray. Read the Bible. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. follow the instructions that are written out for us. So we still mm -hmm. don't know how to ask. We are told here, you have not because you ask not, but how are you asking? So it's not, mm -hmm. because, we can, it's not because we can construct a sentence and we are saying, now I can pray. So we are feeling we are so much better than other people because we can come up with this big prayer, oh, sovereign Lord. <laughs> you know, you know those kind of prayers where we are feeling, there's no big word, then it is not a prayer. But really, uh, uh, uh. there's a way in which we must pray. And a, we, we need to direct, you know, properly mm, through mm. the name of Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. That, Amen. I have a problem. I have a bit of a problem when I hear people, you know, at anything that they are doing, ah, Jesus, you know, Jesus, you know, I feel like my spirit is really jumping because, you know, anyhow, anything, they drop something, ah, Jesus, they <coughs> come themselves, Jesus, you know, so I feel because mm -hmm. I know the power that is in the name of Jesus, I don't want any of my foolish actresses, you know, to carry that mm -hmm. name. You know, in, in my language, then we we'll say, yeah, we'll you know, anything, anything, you just want to use the name of Jesus because I know there's so much. Fun. It's like it loses, it won't have any meaning to do everything yeah. that you are saying, you know. You are just saying Jesus. Now, when it is time to pray in the name of Jesus, you're going to look at that name like it's powerless. You ask God for a revelation. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you a revelation of that name, of that power, you know. Amen. 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 So as we conclude this morning, let's read from the book of Mark. I would like to read from Mark chapter 16 and from verse 17 to 18. I'm using the New King James Version. Amen. And these signs will follow those who believe. All right. In my Amen. name, they will cast out demons. They will speak yeah. with new tongues. They will take up serpents. I'm not saying just because they're going, in the name of Jesus, you're going to get a snake and you're going to put it around your neck. It will bite you. And you <laughs> so we have seen people do that in the name of Jesus and they just didn't rely on me. <laughs> you know what? That is mis <laughs> misunderstanding scripture. It's not supposed to be taken like we've heard yeah, of pastors yeah. that have died because they brought a snake in church and they're mm. thinking a snake shall obey me. I shall trample I shall, and then it beat them and they died. So, mm. and if they drink mm -hmm. anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. Again, you mm. don't just go and get poisoned ah, because, you know, the Holy Spirit dwells in me. I'm going to crush you. Mm. Mm. You know, so <laughs> it's not going to work. You will die. So they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So mm. all these things are done in the name mm. of Jesus. Right, Jesus. Amen. Amen. that in the Amen. name of Jesus, which is the Amen. name above every name. I was getting excited Amen. that this name of Jesus is Amen. a strong and mighty tower where the righteous Amen. run to, and they are so you know, we find safety, we find you know, um, a refuge in Him, right? Amen. We find Amen. everything that we so it is a shelter like no other. That is the name Amen. of Jesus. So we, we need to have a revelation of that name. It is not, Amen. I know there are some people who are named the same name. Okay, but it is when we look at that, it is. I don't know how their parents named them, like I said, we are all named according to situations. So, mm -hmm. but for me, 
the way Jesus name was exalted by God himself and you know God talking to him your name oh God your throne oh God who last forever uh, you know mm. so we know that we are talking about another Jesus here so when we're talking and calling upon the name of Jesus we know exactly you know okay. which Jesus we are addressing here so if people are praying in the name of the cloth you know those clothes that fly around <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know those clothes that fly around, and I'm not just trying to to do things like I want to to be a comedian. No, mm-hmm. we are aware that there are yeah. people who will come. They are moving around with a yeah. hanky or a scarf, whatever they put around themselves, and mm-hmm. they're praying in the name of that cloth. Okay, mm-hmm. some mm-hmm. have holy water and pray in the name of that holy water. Holy, no, you know what? They substitute the name of Jesus for the holy water. They substitute the name of Jesus. For mm-hmm. the anointing oil, people are drinking all sorts of contaminated water because that is now where the power is flowing. That you know, mm-hmm. people are buying, and you know what? The people who are making olive oil is there a business person here? People who are making olive oil, they are making money because Christians buy. Mm-hmm. Imagine if there is a congregation of twenty people, people are buying mm-hmm. olive oil, so it's business. Aww. So people who mm-hmm. are in that in that industry of oil they are making so much money just go make mm. your money because there's some people who don't know what's happening to themselves so if mm. people come and substitute the name of jesus they bring in honey and they are putting honey on your forehead on your hair mm. on your post on your bed mm. for those people mm. who have problems with marriages they give you honey to go and put all over <laughs> yeah right <laughs> all those things and when you have people that are praying for you people that are praying for you with all these mm. elements or whatever they have on them you know be quiet mm. be quiet and listen the problem with christians when somebody is praying for you you also start praying don't pray when you're being prayed for listen mm. listen so your spirit can agree keep quiet don't mm. start praying me. That is why you miss it because you can't hear uh, what they are saying. Uh, you can't hear the uh, name they are calling uh, upon. Mm. You will hear all sorts of things there. All right. Mm. So pay Amen. attention to what they are saying. If it is not what the Bible is saying, run away. Amen. You are supposed to pray in the name of yeah. Jesus. Mm. That is what yeah. we do. So now mm. the sons of uh, sons of Skiva in Acts chapter nineteen, they were very mm. clever. Okay, a shortcut. Mm. This is what some mm. people would have to do. So these mm-hmm. guys wanted to cast out demons. They used to see Paul cast out demons. They used to see him do all sorts mm-hmm. of things. They had no idea. So they decided one day, and I probably need to live on Shiro Sana. We are all filled with the Holy Spirit here. We all know what God is doing. We all know how God swings his hand. We all know how he slaps people and everything else. So, so people are looking at me and say, hey, Francine, we even know her tongues. We can even say them. So then mm-hmm. you to go and do all sorts. So these guys knew how Peter was doing things. And then mm-hmm. they went there and mm-hmm. they did not know this Jesus. So they want to cast out demons and say, in the name of Jesus, who Paul preaches? Mm-hmm. See, well. who Paul preaches? And mm-hmm. then it didn't end well for them. Those demons mm-hmm. said, you know what? <laughs> Don't waste our time. Jesus will know. Oh, we know. Paul but he will. Mm-hmm. Who are you? They mm-hmm. beat them up. Okay, they went out naked. That's what the Bible says. So they were embarrassed, and we don't need to do those things. So perhaps you are like the sons of Skiva. All right. You are like the sons of Skiva. You have heard about Jesus, but you have no relationship with him. You are looking around and doing all sorts of things and saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, whom Francine talked about that day. But perhaps you are desiring, you know to see results you pray mm. and you don't see anything positive happening you because for them they were praying and they were hoping to to wow the people yeah. and you yeah. know those demons would have been gone but they got a shock of their life so maybe mm. you are praying for your family you are praying for your children you are praying for situations to change but you don't see results right mm. so you have listened to today's message and you are thinking you know what i also need to know the power for myself yeah. I need to know the power of his resurrection, right? Oh, I, I need to know the mm. power that is in the name of Jesus. So in mm. Mark, we were told, you will cast mm. out demons, you will heal mm. the sick, they will recover, right? Yes. You're going mm. to speak in tongues, you're going to do this in the name of Jesus. But mm. you're feeling powerless, you never. You want to experience that. If that mm. is you, you saying, I want to know Jesus more than I do today. I just don't want mm. him to be far. 
But I want him to come into my life. I would like to encourage you to pray with me this morning. Amen. 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 So Jesus doesn't force anyone, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of times uh-huh. you may listen on, you know, on TV, um, there's TV and there's so many channels. You go to this, mm-hmm. everybody's talking about God. Nobody's forcing anybody. Some people who force mm-hmm. you, yes, to accept the name of God. Jesus himself doesn't force anybody. Mm-hmm. It's a choice. It's a decision yeah. that we make. All right. It's a conscious decision mm-hmm. that we make. So mm-hmm. you make a decision mm-hmm. to follow him before you die. Let's make mm-hmm. this um, right. There is no amount of prayer that we are going to say, that is going to say, if you don't make the decision before you die, if today, after this meeting, you die, you didn't accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, the Bible says, not me, you, then you are not part of the kingdom, right? Mm-hmm. That is what it says. So we need to accept Christ as our Lord and Savior. So mm-hmm. you don't have to change your church. If you're going to another church already, all you just need to do is to invite Christ as your Lord and Savior. We're not seeing you from that church, but I would encourage you to go to a church that preaches the gospel, that, you know, that teaches, that is spirit-filled. Let me say, a church yeah. that is spirit-filled. So let us pray together. If that is you, you are feeling, Lord, I would like to know you at a personal level. I would like you to be my Lord and my Savior. Shall we pray? Mm. Mm. Lord, I invite you to come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. Mm-hmm. I repent of my sins and ask that you forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I thank you for loving me unconditionally. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 And amen. So I would like to encourage Amen. all of us to read the Bible. It is very important for us to read. Mm. We are not going to know when we are being misled. We are not mm. going to know, you know, that we are going astray or we are not praying right if we don't read the mm. Bible. It is important to read as well as to pray. So we mm. read the Bible, we pray, we meditate on the word that we mm. read. Amen. We spend Amen. time in the Amen. same place. There, it is where, mm. you know, the, the Lord reveals himself to us. He says mm. in Jeremiah, you know, seek me. If you seek mm. me, I will be found by you. That is what he said. We need to seek him. Mm. To take, mm. to, we need to take that first step of seeking him. So I would encourage mm. each one of us to find time each day to read, mm. you know, a passage in the Bible, read a book, meditate, ask the Holy yeah. Spirit to give you, you know, a revelation, to give you understanding of what mm. you are reading. Amen. 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 And Amen. pray scriptures. Pray mm-hmm. scriptures. Get the Bible. Whatever the scriptures mm-hmm. are saying, that is what now you begin to pray. It's Amen. important. Let us pray mm-hmm. together to just end the service. Mm-hmm. Father, we thank you for this day. Mm-hmm. Be exalted. Be lifted up, oh God. Thank you mm-hmm. for speaking to each one of us. Mm-hmm. As we begin this day, we submit to you. We submit to your Lordship. Mm-hmm. We say yes to mm-hmm. your will. Mm-hmm. To yes, your ways. And we trust you with our lives, Father. Because we know it is in you that we live and we move and we have our being. You alone holds the whole world in your hands. You know about my yesterday. You know about my current situation and you know about tomorrow. Therefore, Father, I just submit myself to you. I offer myself to you as a living sacrifice. Yes, Lord, I choose to walk in your ways. I choose to know your ways. You know, his word also tells us that you draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So it is the step that we make. We begin to draw close to him and he begin to draw close to us. When we were not, we couldn't hear his voice. As we draw close to him, we begin to hear him clearly. clearly. When we couldn't see clearly, when we draw close to him, we begin to see clearly because our eyes in the spirit are open. Father, I ask that for every person that is gathered here, I pray Mm -hmm. that you will open their spiritual eyes and their spiritual ears. I Mm -hmm. ask, Father, that you will sharpen, you know, our Mm -hmm. spiritual understanding. Give Mm -hmm. us insight into your word. Give us a revelation Mm -hmm. of your word. Because, Lord, Mm -hmm. we desire to know you more. Mm -hmm. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen Amen. and amen. Amen. So once again, thank you so much for joining Mm -hmm. us. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you.